As before, I'm using some of these simple examples to illustrate how to use the stats mode of the Casio FX260 solar calculator. We've already done one with the mean, and this is pretty much the same process. The first thing you have to do is you have to get the data into the data set in the calculator. And to be sure that there's no leftover data, anything hanging around, if you just press the on button, you'll sort of clear everything out. Then you need to go into the stats mode. The stats mode is accessed by pressing the shift key followed by the decimal. That puts you into stats mode. The shift key followed by the decimal. And to verify that you actually went into the stats mode, this is really very hard for you to see, but if you look up in the upper right hand corner, there will be a little SD, capital S, capital D. And whether you can see that there or not doesn't really matter, but that tells you when you look at it on your actual calculator that you're in the uh, stats mode. Now once you're in the stats mode, you're ready to enter these numbers. So you start off with 11.7, 11.7, .7 and you enter by pressing the M plus key. So 11.7 is now in. Then you go to 13.7. 13.7 press M plus. Then you go to 24.7 M plus. And I'm covering those up but the next number is uh, 9.7. So you've got 9.7 M plus. The next number is 24.7, 24.7, press M plus, then 14.7, press M plus, and finally 10.7, 10.7, and press M plus. Once you get all of those numbers in there, then you want to do the calculation. We want standard deviation here. so. What you have to realize is that the standard deviation is actually a sample standard deviation and its symbol for that is sigma sub n minus 1. But in any case, look at it on your own calculator in case it's not clear here, but that sigma sub n minus 1 is right next to the uh, big red C button. That is your sample standard deviation, what we're doing in class. It's a shift key, so you first have to shift so you shift, press the shift key, and then press the sigma n minus 1, which is actually on the 9 key. And the results you get there, and we'll take it, say, to four, uh, three decimal places, 6.377 is the standard deviation that we're looking for. So the standard deviation is 6.377. And on the calculator, that's sigma sub n minus 1. And we often just use the letter S for that for the sample standard deviation. And notice, just as a, once you get the data set in there, if you're using the same data, you don't have to uh, type it in again to get another statistic from it. For instance, if I wanted the mean now after I already have the standard deviation, I don't have to enter those numbers again as long as I don't clear them. I just need to hit the shift key and then do the X bar and X bar is above the 7 and that'll give me the mean of 15.7 which the symbol on the calculator is X bar. So two things here. First of all, finding the standard deviation involves getting the numbers into the, d into the calculator data set and that's just the same no matter what uh, statistics you're, you're trying to calculate. Once you get them in uh, you press the function key of whichever you're looking for. If you're looking for uh, the standard deviation, you do uh, shift uh, 9, and if you're doing mean, you do shift 7.